Praise the Lord, everybody. All right. How much longer would you say, DK? I can? All right, give me a little bit more, Chris, if you would, just a, just a touch more. Great. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. We are so happy to have you with us today. My goodness, happy Mother's Day. How are you? How have you been? We're getting things ready. Going to be starting in a minute. BK, I can use my monitor working up front here whenever you have a chance for a reference there. But how you been doing? My goodness. I've missed so many of you. Some of you are new friends today. But we're going to have such a great, great time together. You're going to want to contact your friends and others and let them know that, my goodness, we're going to have a time today. Now, I want to walk over in just a moment here to this cross because uh, we're going to be putting the names of every mother who would like their name on the cross or maybe your mother's name. Let me look, let me look over here. This cross is absolutely beautiful. It reminds us of what Jesus did, how he sacrificed. And of course, we think how, we think how mom sacrificed as well. But we'd like to get your mother's name on this cross. We've prepared something where you can, we can put her name on there and it'll be put in between all the roses that are on the cross today. Now you might be saying, and once again, I could use my monitor, BK. Maybe it's just clicking on and off. No worries, but, but uh, maybe in a few minutes. But anyway, how do you get your mom's name on there? Well, here it is. We're going to bring up a graphic in just a moment to tell you how to do it. All you do is you go to Faith City Family Church Facebook and go to the message section, and there you can give us your mother's name. It's just that simple and that easy matter of fact we'll bring it up on the screen for you if you'd like to get your mother's name on the cross or mom you're watching and you want your name on that cross on mother's day we're going to be doing it a little bit later in the service all you got to do is go to faith city family church facebook go to the message section and it will come directly to our ministry team. Also, if you have a prayer request or some prayer requests and you'd like us to pray, well, you can also give your prayer request to us by doing just about the same thing, going to Faith City Family Church Facebook. And you could do that right now and go to the message section and we can get your prayer request. We'll be praying in just a few moments after the praise and worship. Oh, I, I love my mom, and I know you love your mom. And uh, whether she's on the other side waiting for you, maybe she's already made it to glory, or maybe she's still here, we love our mothers. And we're just going to have a very, very, very special time today. But before we get the music and the praise going, I would like to open up with a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to say thank you right now for the opportunity to worship together. And Lord, even though we sure wish we could kind of be in church together, Lord, we know you've got everything under control. And Lord, we know that something good's gonna happen today. Lord, we pray that people will feel free to uh, get their mother's name on the cross by going to the Faith City Family Church Facebook, the message section while we're worshiping and singing so we can do that later and honor mom whether she's still with us or on the other side, or if a mother wants her name on there. Father, we pray for miracles today. and We'll thank you for it in the name of Jesus. You know, I got to thinking about uh, this verse, and, and you will know that they are Christians by their love. Would you give me a little virtual hug right now? Come on. 
Come on, just give me a little virtual hug. Let me give you a virtual hug right now. Come on. That's right. If you're in the room with some other people, Mom Green's giving me a virtual hug. We got about nine people in the building bring, helping me bring this to you. Come on, give me another one because we love you so very, very much. Now, look, we want you to clap your hands wherever you're at. We want you to make a joyful noise because when the praises go up, the blessings, they'll come on down. Let's have a good time together on Mother's Day. I know by the word Jesus must be praised. I know by the word Jesus must be praised. I know by the word Jesus must be praised. I know by the word Jesus must be praised. Good morning, Faith City. Wherever you are, Jesus' name reigns forever. He's worthy of the praise. And we're going to praise him all over this world. Can we do it together? Sing it together. Say all over the world. All over the world. Yeah. Jesus must be praised. All over the world. Jesus must be praised. All over the world. All over the world. Jesus must be praised. All over the world. Jesus must be praised. Let everything that has breath, everything.
Jesus. Oh, you can feel the power of the Holy Spirit here right now. And we are getting ready to pray for miracles. 
But I want us to take a moment. There's such an anointing on this praise and worship. Raise your hand with us right now. Worship the Lord with us. We're here. You're there. But there's no distance with God. Lord, we're raising our hands and we're praising you for who you are. Hallelujah. For who you are. The Lion of Judah. The Healer. Jehovah Jireh. Our Provider. Oh, we give you praise, God, hallelujah, for all the times you've helped us, all the times that you've healed us, all the times that you've got us through. Lord, we give you praise. Go ahead and praise him wherever you're at because God inhabits the praises of his people. The Bible says, come into his presence with singing and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. What do you need from God today? Now if you need to get in your prayer request, we invite you to go to Faith City Family Church Facebook right now. Go to the message section and it'll come right to our ministry team. And I believe that we've already had some requests that have come in. And while they're sharing them with me right now, if you would like to get your name on the beautiful Mother's Day cross, just a few feet away from me, all you have to do is go to Faith City Family Church Facebook. Mom, why don't you get your name on there today? Oh, you'll be glad you did. Or maybe you want to put your mother's name. We're doing it for any mom. Faith City Family Church Facebook. Go to that message section, and we've got our team and our staff ready to get those names. Well, uh, we are praying for Jennifer. She says, pray for my mom, Catherine, and mother-in-law, Joan. And she said, please put their names on the cross. Yes, we will. This says, pray for the Smith family, that we will. This says, pray for an unspoken request in the Pennsylvania area, someone who has lost their mother. This says, pray for uh, Lisa. And so we're, we're continuing to look at these requests as they come in. But I want to pray for you right now. I want you to stretch your hands out to me and to our team right now. Because the Bible says if just two on earth shall agree, they shall ask and it shall be done. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I feel the anointing to pray. God, I pray that you would heal every sickness right now in the name of Jesus. Because God is able to do whatever we ask him to do. The Bible says exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we are praying for those fighting discouragement, Lord. And worry right now. And depression, oh God. Some of you, you've been kind of like, I got to get out of this house. I got to get out of this space. I got to get out. Let me tell you, you're going to be all right. God has got you in the name of Jesus and I pray that any heaviness would lift off of you right now some of you are almost uh, suffering from what I would call separation anxiety from family members and friends and the ability maybe to go out to church but we rebuke that right now in the name of Jesus that's right begin to praise him the Lord is touching you right now in Jesus mighty name I'm praying for somebody who's diagnosed with cancer I pray that God will heal you from the top of your head down to the soles of your feet. I'm praying for somebody right now who has an organ in your body. Maybe it's a kidney. Maybe it's a pancreas right now, a liver. But God is healing you. Begin to raise your hand and praise the Lord. I'm praying for people with addictions. I bind every addiction right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever that addiction is, we command it to come off of you right now in 
Jesus' mighty name, uh, we pray for financial blessing. Uh, oh, God, we pray for financial miracles uh, to happen for your people right now. You might say, I don't know exactly how I'm going to make it. Well, God knows how you're going to make it. Begin to pray and trust him right now. Who in the world got you through before? He's going to get you through again. Uh, he always, listen, he always makes a way. Uh, so, Father, we thank you that you're the way-making Jesus, uh, and we praise you, oh God, for what you are doing right now in Jesus' uh, mighty name. Uh, can we wave our hands wherever you're watching this? Uh, maybe you're watching it in your room. You're watching it in the family room. Uh, you're watching it with other people. Begin to praise the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. I feel miracles uh, being released uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Uh, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I've seen a lot of miracles in my time. And I know many of you watching right now, you've seen them too. But I believe that the greatest miracle of all is when somebody finds Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. You know, I got to thinking, and of course, I'm blessed today. I, I, I still have my mother. Some of you may not have, have yours, and that's not an easy thing. But I got to thinking on my way to church today, if my mother was in heaven, I'd want to make sure that I could get to see her again. Because eternity is a long, long time. The Bible says there is a way to see mom again. When the people asked Jesus in St. John chapter 14 how to get to heaven, in verse 6, Jesus said, let me tell you how to get to heaven. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man gets to the Father except through me. I believe many of you watching right now, you want to give your life to Jesus, or you want to make sure that everything is all right between you and the Lord because none of us have a guarantee of another day. But one thing I can guarantee you of is if you will call on the Lord, he will save you right now. Can we make our way to the cross? I'd like to make my way over there to the cross because I, I want to invite every one of you watching to make sure that you're ready for eternity. I, I hope you live a long, long life, but none of us know how many years we will have. If you'll pray this prayer, I'll tell you right now that Jesus will save your soul. Somebody said, well, I don't have time to join a church or a denomination. You don't have to join anything. All you have to do is reach out to Jesus and call on him, and he will save your soul right now. Can we go to the cross? Come on. As I look at this cross today, I, I think about what Jesus did. The Bible says that they put nails in his hands and in his feet. They placed a crown of thorns upon his head. They put a spear in his side. And he did it all for you and for me. Are you ready to pray that prayer with us? Come on, wherever you're at, I want you to open up your mouth. And I want you to pray it. Sister Monet is going to repeat it after me. Let's do it, everybody. Jesus, right now. I confess to you my sins. I ask for forgiveness to wash the sin out of my life and to save me right now. Save me, Jesus. Put my name in your book of life. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. And I believe on Mother's Day 2020. Jesus, you have become my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Would you raise your hand with us right now and praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good.
Oh, praise the Lord. I feel like shouting, and we have a little shout somewhere. And Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I, I feel like running around the church right now. I'm excited about miracles of healing and deliverance and people getting saved. God, we thank you for it. We praise you for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And now we're going to pray for all of the hundreds of requests that have come in over the past Yes, five weeks that we have been doing this. We've been streaming. We've been asking people to share their requests. Stretch your hands out with me to this prayer request box. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for every need, every circumstance, every situation, oh God. And Lord, we pray for your miracle power to be released in the name of Jesus on everyone's behalf right now for that unsaved son that unsaved daughter oh god for that person who needs a mountain to move god we pray for those miracles in jesus name we pray thank you lord amen and amen and you know speaking of miracles i've got a very special announcement because I say one of the greatest miracles of all is when a little baby is born into the world. And I just want to turn behind me and I want to congratulate our bass player, Brother Joshua and Stephanie White, for their little son, Joshua Benjamin White Jr. Let's give a praise to the Lord for that little guy. Isn't he something? Oh, praise the Lord, Josh. We really say thank God for him. Could I, could I make him a member a little bit early? Could I put his name on the roll? Thank you. Amen. I'm signing him up early right now. Praise God. We're having a great time. Are you having a good time? Oh, it's great hanging together with you. Maybe now you just joined us over the past few minutes. Come on, give us some hugs here. Come on, I call them the virtual hugs. Oh, yeah, because we love you so very 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 much i want to thank god for the team that is here today just a small handful of people who have come together to make sure that we can bring the house of the lord worship into your life i'd like to thank brother dana saray our music director i appreciate him so much i want to thank sister monet shelton for her worship leading today. I want to thank God for Brother Joshua White on the bass. I want to thank God for Brother Vernell Mincy on the percussion. I want to thank God for Brother Leonard Butcher uh, doing the PowerPoint and the screens today and Brother Brian Atkins for the streaming and the video switching and all of that. I want to thank God also for Brother Al Wolfo on the streaming. I want to thank God also for Brother Chris on the sound, doing a tremendous job. I want to thank God for Brother Charles Harmon, the outreach director, Brother Randolph Haith ushering today, Sister Faith Green, praise God, in the church lobby, and Sister Jessica Davis and April Purnell, yes, our small little group working to make sure we can get this to you today. Now. I'm going to be putting and announcing on the microphone at the end of my sermon, which is a very special sermon on great women of faith in the Bible. So you've got plenty of time. At the end of the sermon, I'm going to be announcing names of mothers who we're going to put on the cross. Mothers that are still with us. Mothers that are on the other side in glory. It's so easy to do. It'll take you about 60 seconds. And you'd be able to tell your mom today, Mom, I got your name on the cross. Just go to Faith City Family Church Facebook and go to the message section. It'll confidentially come right to us. And we'll get that name and, and I want to call out mother's names I know I'm calling out my mother's name today I've got mom's name already 
I'm going to make sure that my mother, Brother Dana, her name gets on the cross. And I say to any of the staff here today, if you want your mother's name on the cross, I want you to make sure, staff, that Jessica gets your mother's name. Mom Green, you need to get your mother's name on that cross today. I know she's up in glory, but we still need, the Bible said, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long on the earth which the Lord thy God giveth unto thee. Now, I know some of you prayed that prayer to get saved. And we'd like to give you a beautiful free cross necklace to always remind you that today you gave your heart to Jesus Christ. You might say, could I have one of those necklaces? You sure can. I'd be honored to send it to you. Here's how you do it. All you do is just email us your address. All I need your address, the Faith City office at gmail.com. Pastor, you mean you don't even know who I am and you would send me a cross necklace? You better believe it because every time you wear that necklace, it's going to remind you that Jesus is always with you and he saved your soul. Matter of fact, Brother BK, we'll put up that address one more time. I, I just feel somebody scurrying. They ran in the other room and said, they're going to give away cross necklaces. Email us at faithcityoffice at gmail.com. Get it to you right in the mail. Now, what about our Mother's Day gift? I want to say a word about that. We did a very special, one-of-a-kind order for this year's 2020 Mother's Day gift. We have never given out this gift before. And we're giving it to every mother that's watching right now absolutely free. No obligations, no this, that, and the other. There it is. It's a devotional book that says, Woman of God, wonderfully made. But look there, it has a beautiful matching writing pen. We've never given out this particular gift before. Could we give it to you? Could we bless you today? I'm going to bring up that address one more time. Faith City Office at gmail.com. Faith City Office at gmail. I'm going to let it sit there a minute because I know some of you are old schooling. And, and, and Brother BK, some of them got to find a pencil to write. You know how that. Some of them are they not fooling with an iPad, BK. They, they, they're grabbing a pencil. Mom's getting a pen right now and saying, Pastor, don't you take that address off that screen. Mom, write it down. Write it down, Mother. Faith City Office at Gmail. Dot com. I'll give you another minute, Mom, because some of you don't even have a computer or an iPhone. That's all right. Faith City Office at gmail.com. I'll make sure personally you get one of those in the mail as our special Mother's Day gift. You see, normally we'd be having church today, and we'd have all those Mother's Day gifts Mom Green, you know, down the altar, we do it every year. And here come the mothers. They come up the aisles. And I figured, well, we're going to still give our mothers gifts because we can do it because we love our mothers today. Amen. We come to that point of the service where it's time to show God our thanks for his goodness and his mercy to us through the giving of tithes and offerings. You know, I'll never forget the dear mother that came up to me after church service probably about a year and a half ago now. Time goes so fast. And she said, let me give you a testimony that you can share with others. She said, I'm a mother who years ago, uh, my husband left. He said, he just got up and he left, left me with these 
precious three children, she said. And she said it was really hard. One of the hardest things to try to keep things going. But she said, I kept going to church. Listen to this. This is a mother now. She said, I kept going to church. And she said, when the church would pass out the envelopes to tie, she said, I would always pay my time. Now, you got to listen to this. This is a Mother's Day story. She said, one day, as I was staying a little bit late after work, as I was doing for a while to make sure my work was done, I'm the only one, I'm the breadwinner of the, of the house, she said. She said, all of a sudden, my supervisor came up behind me. And uh, she said, can I see you in my office for a minute, please? She said, my heart began to go ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. She said, oh, my God, am I going to lose my job? She said, have a seat. She said, you know, I've been watching you. You're the last one to leave. You're always making sure your work is done. As a matter of fact, I noticed that you did somebody else's work the other day. She said, we've decided to give you a raise. And we're going to give you a better health program. We're going to include the dental and the eye. We're going to give it all because we know you've got those three children that you're raising. She said, tears started to come out of my cheeks. She said, I knew that wasn't luck. That was Jesus. You see, when you pay your tithe, the Lord knows how to bless you and give you favor and get you through. That's why I always share the following Bible verse. It's the verse about tithing, about the three miracles that always happen. I love reading this verse where it says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. It's the house of the Lord, God's work. And prove me now, here which says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. When you give God your tithe, you say, you know, Pastor, I like that story. I, matter of fact, Pastor, I need a blessing. How do I tithe? It's very, very simple. Tithing means you give God 10% of the money that you make. And when you do it, look on the screen with me. Let me look up here with you. Three things happen. Three things happen. We're going back to the three miracles, Brother Leonard. The blessing, yes. Uh, uh, you get a blessing. He said, I will pour you out a blessing. Then he said, Yo, I'm going to give you increase like he did for that dear single mom. He said, you will not have room enough to receive it. And then he said, thirdly, I'll protect you. I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Think about that right now. You know, I'm so happy to report to you that even though that the doors of the church have had to be closed, I'm happy to report that we're still doing outreach. When people hear the name Faith City, they always think of the buses that would run in the neighborhood and pick up people for church and, and the crosses that we put out on the corner getting people saved and the and the coat drive you know our last coat drive we gave just under 1,000 brand new coats back in December always doing outreach 12 months a year you might say well pastor uh, what y'all been doing I'm glad you asked Brother Leonard's going to get a few pictures ready. They're simple little pictures here, but they give you an idea of our current outreach because in the community there are people who, well, their extra money has run out. Their backup money to the backup ran out. And literally, they were in line at the food bank and the food ran out. And so they're in need of food. Well, let me show you just a few pictures here. That picture, let me explain it to you. That, that's the big van, and it's just packed. That's one of those long, big vans packed with bags of groceries. And each bag of groceries 
could get people, a family like of three, can get them through a few days. And so the next picture here just gives you an idea as we would begin to drive up the streets in these areas. We also have what we call packages of love. We call them the little snack packs and the kids, they love them and you know, they've got some healthy fruit juice in there and some other things and they've just run up to the van because they know who we are. See, we've been doing it so long. Another picture here is uh, people walking away grateful bags of groceries up the street now let me tell you when they ask where it's from we don't push the church we don't push a minister we say it's from Jesus we push a savior another picture here that's brother Harmon he's walking up and they've already been given a big bag of groceries, but he went back to get some more things that they needed because I'm counting. Am I counting right? I see one little fella. I see a baby in arms, and then I see another child. So, so uh, uh, my goodness, think about that. Little masks on, but they were praying for a blessing, and Jesus sent us their way. Here's another picture right now. Back to some kids in the park having some fun with their masks on and with those packages of love. Another picture, this really touches me. The man, he carrying that heavy bag of groceries, certain canned goods and different things that all was blended together. And he walks down the street. I love that picture because even though we may not know his face, we can feel his heart that Jesus sent us to be a blessing. There's another 500 of him out there. And so it's our desire to be able to continue to be the Lord's hands extended. Our first phase of food is gone. Brother Harmon said we want to do it again. It's our desire to do it. But you might be saying, Pastor, how's it going out there at the church? Well, we're making it one day at a time, sweet Jesus. And I would say to you respectfully and humbly that if you could pay your tithes today and if you could give a generous gift, it would be very much on time. You might say, well, you know what? I, I'm kind of hurting myself. Well, you know what I found out over the years? That when I'm hurting, the best thing I can do is go help somebody else. When I'm reaching down, can I do this? When, I, when I'm reaching down to somebody that's maybe just a little low right now, while I'm reaching down, the moment I begin to reach, there's a hand on, on my collar that will pull me up because I'm pulling somebody else up. We made it very easy today. You can do it in about, well, we're learning, you can probably do it in about three minutes. You can give your tithes and your offerings, we prepared a number of easy ways. There's, first of all, the text to give. All these are secure sites, secure links. 302-455-2820, text to give. That's one method. Another is Cash App. You put in that special code, the dollar sign, Faith City and FC2. The lower or uppercase doesn't matter, but... You must add that dollar sign. That another very quick, easy way. And then another is faithcitynow.com. Let's look at these three ways for a second. Very simple. Text to give. Cash app. Faithcitynow.com. And really, we need every one of you to do your best. Now, I know that some of you also would like to we're going to bring it up on the screen. You'd rather send your check or a check to the church. It's so easy. You use this address, it'll come right to the front door, the street address of the church. Faith City Family Church 179, Stanton Christiana Road, Newark, Delaware. 19702 179 Stanton Christiana Road, Newark, Delaware, 19702. Everybody under the sound of my voice, would you do your best? 
Because remember, when you reach out, God will reach back to you. When you let go of what's in your hand, God has something to let go of what's in his. Would you do your best gift? Would you be faithful in tithing? We need it so much right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this powerful time together here. Lord, as uh, we've been singing and praising the Lord and praying, oh God, we feel your power and your presence, but now the worship doesn't stop because giving is worship to God. It's saying, God, I want to thank you that I'm still alive. God, I want to thank you I'm making it one day at a time. And so, Lord, I can do my part with my tithes, my offerings, my special gifts. God, we pray for a strong showing of support today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. We thank you. Amen. Once again, a sincere thank you for helping us. God bless you. And uh, just had an update. Many mothers' names are coming in. Now, you still have plenty of time to get, Mom, you have time to get your name on this special Mother's Day cross. I'm going to call out the name of every single mother. Thousands will hear your name. Also, if you would like to put the name of your mother on that cross, we can do it. It's so easy. There you see it on the screen right now. You just simply go to Faith City Family Church Facebook. Now, Mom, if you don't know how to bring up the Facebook and you've got somebody else that can help you, they can go to Facebook. It'll come up in about 15 seconds. Faith City Family Church Facebook. Go to the message section. We're the only ones that'll see those names, all right? Just our ministry team will get those names. 
And after the sermon I'm preaching on, great women of faith, at the end of my sermon, I already have, they just gave me a big number, Brother Randy. Many, many are going and getting mother's name on that cross. I will call out the names and get mother's name on that cross. And speaking of Mother's Day, I want to thank Brother Saray. Help me, Brother Chris, if you would, just a little more there, Brother. Brother Saray and Sister Monet Shelton for preparing a very special Mother's Day song. This song before the message today is dedicated to all of the mothers that are still with us and all of the mothers that are on the other side. While they're doing this song in just a moment, maybe you might want to go back in your mind to some of those fond memories because there's nothing like the love of a mother. So right now, Brother Dana Saray, the music ministry, and Sister Monet Shelton, a special song for mother. Praise the Lord, everybody. What's a song I wrote called All For Me? And the closest to God's love on earth to me is a mother with her sacrifices. And so me and Mona have this song. Hope you enjoy it. Mothers, it's to you. We thank you for your love and your sacrifices and your, all the pain we put you through. <laughs> beautiful eyes. Song says, this is all for me. You did it all for me. I was so wrong. Many chances I have blown. It showed how much I know. As far as I you did it all. You did it all for me. Oh, oh, for me. You did it all for me. You gave your best. How dare I give you less? You look right past my fault. And still you pay the cost, you did it all, you did it all for me. Yeah. And I never will forget it, I will never will forget those sleepless nights, you did it all for me. Mother's Day. Thanks, Mom. Praise the Lord. Absolutely beautiful. Mom, 
You did it all for me. Oh, we sure hope that that blessed you, Mom. Because we love you from the bottom of our hearts today. And to the moms that are on the other side, thank you. Thank you as well. There's still much as alive as any of us are today, just in another location. But mom is as close as our thoughts. She's always in our hearts. Just before our special Mother's Day message, I do want to share some upcoming things I think you'll want to know about. Now, next Sunday, May the 17th, next Sunday, we have another special virtual guest that's going to join us, our dear friend, Ja'Kalen Carr, is going to be joining us next Sunday, May the 17th, virtually. She'll be giving us a word. She's supposed to be singing, praying for us. It's going to be great. Tell your friends, Ja'Kalen Carr, next Sunday, May the 17th, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m. as well. And then the following Sunday, oh, listen, this is going to really be awesome. This is going to be amazing. Holy Communion Sunday. Some of you have been wanting like I have to have communion. There is no verse in the Bible that says you have to be in a church building to have communion. You can have it. Any, listen, I've given communion to people incarcerated. I've been, I've been giving communion to people in the hospital. Why don't you get that juice ready, whatever juice you may have, little pieces of bread, and let's take communion together on Sunday, May the 24th. It's going to be awesome. And then, of course, we're here for you this Wednesday, May the 13th. We'll be here right in the middle of your week for our special Bible study, 7 p.m. every Wednesday. Of course, Facebook Live, YouTube, and how you can access us. And just before I preach, can I reach out to you? Matter of fact, let me just, let me just reach out to you with my arm right now. Would you share this good content with as many people as you can? You know what? You know what? You are, you are a powerful evangelist. You've got a tool in your hand. All you have to do is hit that share. Some of you could share this, this content, this music, this prayer, this cross, these Mother's Day gifts, these free cross necklaces. You could hit share and bless 100 people. I'm asking you. I'm reaching out to you. I wish I could touch you right now. By faith, would you help me? And share it with as many people as you can. Because you don't know how many will get saved. You don't know how many mothers will be able to get their name on the cross. You don't know how many cross necklaces will be given to people who got saved. So again, hit that share. And watch the Lord bless you real good. Well, I know our team is getting ready for our Mother's Day names to be read. And they're still right now. I see them right over here. They're looking right now. They're watching Facebook, Faith City Family Church Facebook. I, I see them. And they're looking in the message section. And I'm, I'm not going to tell you how many names, but there's a whole lot of names that have come in. Randy, I said a whole lot of names. Amen. It's not too late for you. Just go to Faith City Family Church Facebook. My, the response is even greater than what I thought it would be. Can I praise the Lord right now? Hallelujah. I'm about ready to jump off the platform. Amen. If I do in the, and I go off the screen, don't, don't turn me off. I'll be back up here. Amen. Our message today is entitled, 
learning from great women of faith. Learning from great women of faith. There are some great women in the Bible that can teach us all a whole lot about how to live this life and on how to make a difference in our world. I chose the opening Bible verse, Proverbs 31, verse number 10. And this verse reads, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. God is still looking for virtuous women today who will live by the principles of the Bible. Virtuous women that will not be influenced by anyone or lose their soul over somebody else. God is looking for a virtuous woman. You might say, well, pastor, do you think I can be one of those virtuous women? I've been through this. I've been through that. The Lord will take you right now just as you are and put you on the potter's wheel. But let's look at some of these women. I, I chose, let me count them. I chose one, two, three, four. I chose five women out of the Bible pages, beginning with woman of faith, number one. Her name was Hannah. And the story about Hannah goes like this in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. And she made this vow, and she said, quote, O Lord of heaven's armies, if you will look upon my sorrow and answer my prayer and give me a son, then I will give him back to you. He will be yours for his entire lifetime. And as a sign that he has been dedicated to the Lord, his hair will never be cut. Verse 20, and in due time, she gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I asked the Lord for him. Now, what can we learn, mothers? And what can we learn, family, that are watching right now from this woman of faith, Hannah, in the Bible? Well, first of all, Hannah gave her son back to God. How important is it in these times that mothers place their children in the hands of Almighty God and pray for them? I'm, I'm talking to a mother right now. You're worried about your children and your grandchildren. You don't know what to do. Well, I'm asking you to do what Hannah did in the Bible. She said, oh, God, I put Samuel in your hands. Now, I know when they're little tykes, you can, you can train them and you can raise them. But let me tell you, we all know our children grow up on us. And we've got to put them in the hands of the Lord because once they leave the nest, we cannot follow them every minute of the day. But like Hannah, we can keep the faith knowing that if we put our children in the hands of Almighty God, they will be all right. I'm looking at another great woman of faith. Now, remember, it's not too late to get your name in, Mom, to get it on the Mother's Day cross or the name of your mother or mom, your own name. There you see what to do. Just go to Faith City Family Church Facebook, and I can see they're still taking in names right now. And go to the send message area, and we'll get that. I want to call out your name. Woman number two of faith, is we, we refer to her as Mary of Bethany. Mary it's not the Mary, the mother of Jesus. That's a different Mary. This is called Mary of Bethany. In Luke 10, 39, it reads, Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. 
Then I go to St. John chapter 12, verse 3, about the woman of faith number 2, Mary of Bethany. Then Mary took a 12-ounce jar of expensive perfume made from the essence of nard. And note this, and she anointed Jesus' feet with it. Wiping his feet. Can you see this, my Lord? Wiping, wiping his feet with her hair. And when she was done, the, the house was filled with the fragrance. Mary of Bethany taught us something. She taught us the value of spending time with Jesus. You see, Jesus had come, an, had come over Mary's house for dinner. And her sister's name was Martha. And Martha got worried in the kitchen, trying to make sure that the napkins were folded right, and that's okay, and everything was just perfect. But Mary said, the most important thing is that Jesus wants me to spend time with him. Jesus isn't so concerned about how perfect the table is set. Jesus wants me to fellowship with him. Mary of Bethany taught us that we need to spend time with Jesus. And notice she worshiped the Lord by listening, giving up the most expensive things she had. It was referred to as the essence of nard. They said that it was worth literally hundreds of dollars. But she poured it out. On the feet of Jesus. You never go wrong by being generous with Jesus and blessing the Lord. And then not only is Hannah a woman of faith and Mary of Bethany a woman of faith, but our, our third woman of faith today on Mother's Day, learning from great women of faith, is Eunice. Some of you said, Eunice, I never heard of the lady before. Listen to these Bible verses. This lady was amazing. Now, uh, Paul, the apostle, is speaking to Eunice. And in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, he says to this woman of faith, Eunice, he says, I remember your genuine faith. For you share the faith that, note here, that first filled your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. And I know that same faith continues strong in you. Paul said, Timothy, you have the same genuine faith that your grandmother had. I'm talking to grandmoms right now. I know good and well that some of you watching, you are grandmothers and you are raising those grandchildren. I'm here to tell you that your labor is not in vain. The Bible said that that. This powerful woman, Eunice, raised the grandchildren up. And look at this. Then it says that even the, not only the children, but the grandchildren continued in the faith. In Proverbs 22, verse number 6, this is a word for all mothers today. I don't care if your child is 3, 13, 33, or 53, you need to continue to keep the faith because God promised that he would take care of your children if you would serve the Lord. The Bible says, look at this verse. I want to read it to you, Proverbs 22, 6. Direct your children onto the right path. And when they are older, I hear some amens out there on the other side of this camera. And when they are older, they will not leave it. Listen, maybe you raised them, you took them to church, and right now they got an addiction. Right now we're in a bad relationship. Right now they're serving the devil. But don't you give up praying grandmom and grandmother and mom. Listen, God will save them because he said if you put them in the right way before they leave, I'm going to take care of it in the name of Jesus. Somebody just joined us. I've got to give you the opportunity, Mom, to get your name on the special Mother's Day old rugged cross. It's not too late. You can go to Faith City Family Church Facebook and go to the message section, and our team will get your name, Mom. We'll, Mom, we'll put your name on there 
or your mother's name. We'd be happy to do it. We're now on Woman of Faith uh, number four. Our message, learning from great women of faith. Some of you did not know the story I'm going to tell about a young woman who lived in the inner city. She was the daughter of the founder of the Salvation Army. Now, I know you all heard that name, the Salvation Army. And the man, Brother William Booth, who founded the good old Salvation Army, him and his wife had a daughter. Her name was Evangeline. And the, Bi and the Bible in a moment, I'm not going to read it yet, is going to confirm the anointing that was on this young lady's life. I'm not going to read it yet. I'll read it in just a moment. But listen to her story. Her daddy and mommy got up in years. And so they could not carry on the work of the Salvation Army. It had grown to many of the large urban areas across America many years ago. The Salvation Army was in New York, in Chicago, in L.A., San Francisco, Detroit, you name it. There was always a Salvation Army helping people somewhere. And this young girl stood up and said, Daddy, I believe the Lord has called me. Listen, we're talking about women of, women of faith. Dad, I believe that God has anointed me to take over the Salvation Army. Well, don't you know? that under the leadership of this woman, this young woman, Evangeline Booth, that the Salvation Army went to higher heights, opened up more centers, helped more poor people, fed more people, shared the gospel, had more kettles out at Christmas with the bells ringing. Sister Evangeline Booth was a great woman of faith, and she lived by this Bible verse, Luke 14 and 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Evangeline Booth was, as they called her at her funeral, the angel of the streets. They said her funeral, thousands came. She lived in the inner city. Thousands lined up for her going home service because she believed that to live a full life, you need to go help somebody else. And then as our musicians are coming right now, and we're preparing this list to call out the name of mothers. We'll be doing it in just a moment. I want to go to my final woman of faith, number five. The Bible says there was a woman who had a little bit unusual name. Her name was referred to as Dorcas, D-O-R-C-A-S. Now listen, this is a story. Hold on to your seat. I'll give you a little taste of it. She dies, but she comes back from the dead. What did you say, Pat? I said she comes back from the dead. And I read Acts 9, verse 36. There was a believer in Joppa named Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was always doing kind things for others and helping the poor. Verse the next verse, about this time she became ill and she died. Her body was washed for burial and laid in an upstairs room. Can you see? They prepared her body. She was laid out in the upper room for the viewing. Verse 38. But the believers had heard that Peter was nearby in a city called Lydda. So they sent two men to beg him. Please come as soon as possible, apostle. Verse 39, so the apostle Peter 
return with these men. And as soon as he arrived, they, they took the apostle Peter to the upstairs room where her body was laid out, just like a viewing, what they were having. And when they took him upstairs, the room, now listen carefully, the room was filled with widows who were weeping and showing him the coats and other clothes that Dorcas made for them. Do you see it right now? Can you see it? Her body is laid out. The apostle Peter walks up the stairs and he sees all of these, all of these people crying back and forth looking at her body, saying, Oh, Dorcas, you made a difference in my life. You made this coat for me. Dorcas, when I didn't have enough, you, you came by my house and you helped me. Verse 40, but then Peter asked them, he said, I want all of you to leave this room where the body was laid out. And then it says, Peter knelt and he prayed. Turning to the body of Dorcas, he said, Get up, Tabitha. And she, can you believe it? She opened up her eyes as she laid at the viewing. And when she saw people, Peter, she said, up. Hallelujah. And the next verse said, he gave her his hand and he helped her. She was dead, prepared for a viewing. But Jesus, the power of the resurrection, brought her up. And then he said, I want you to get the widows and all the believers. And when they came back into the viewing room, she was alive praising the Lord. What do we learn? Dorcas was there for others when they needed her. And others were there for Dorcas when she needed them. Don't you ever give up helping somebody else. Our message today, learning from great women of faith, Hannah, Mary of Bethany, Eunice, Evangeline Booth, the Salvation Army, Dorcas. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Great women of faith. And now, someone is going to bring me these list of names. And I'm going to begin to read these list of names. And then our team is going to begin to make up the name tags and put them on the beautiful Mother's Day cross. I have many names to read. I mean, more than I would have ever imagined. So I'm going to get busy. Are you ready? Are you listening? Patience T. George. Aretha Sambola. Christiana Wissa. Marie Pritchett. Julia Pritchett. Gladys Lockhart. Donnie Patrick, Mary Benjamin, Sandra Waller, Marva Waller, Dakia Lockhart Johnson, Ranika Wood, Candice Resto, Stacy Lockhart, Henrietta. Johnson, Terry Johnson, and by the way, the team is coming whenever they're ready to the cross to begin their work, Sharita Sampson, Kim Johnson, Kena Warren, Kira Johnson, Shanita Smith, Sharon Fuller. Shanita Akins, Rhonda Childress, Paula Sullivan, 
LaVon Cooper, Mary Wood, my mother, Doris Hare, Lydia Green, Naria Bibbs, Walanda Tillis, Rose Henry, Brenda Davis, Alice Brookins, and, my, and the team is getting all these names ready, these tags. I'll be back to the names in a moment. These tags are lovingly being placed on the Mother's Day flowers. Alice Brookins, Rayanna Bailey, Mrs. Richmond, Corvette Adams, Nancy Fuller, Crystal Cannon, Michelle Pritchett, Connie Anderson, who is now with the Lord, Sister Vernita, Vernita Harmon, Daria Curtis, Charlene Maloney, Mahoney, Terry Coleman, Blanche Nixon, Sandra Nixon Fisher, Deneen Smith, S Sarah Raphael, Ross Osborne, Patricia Mason, Catherine Burge, Vicki C. Vicki C. and Evelyn. Vicki C. Evelyn, I believe it reads, who's with the Lord. Cheryl Allen, the mother. Let me start over. Vicki C. and then the mom, Evelyn, who is with the Lord. Cheryl Allen, the mom of the late, let's see, late Ora Lee, Jessica Davis, Betty Davis, who is now with the Lord, Antoinette Franklin, Francis Crawford, Eileen Haith, Betty Rochelle Willis, Teresa Shockley Lemon, Nancy Shear, Dinico Gibson, Stephanie White, Estrella Torres. I'm reading the names of mothers being placed on the cross. Estrella Torres, Joan Beverly Swan, Ruth Lambert, Talia Swan, Brandy Swan, Bertie Evan, Florence Johnson, Mary Purnell, Tina Trina Hardy, Jeanette Austin, Rose Ross, Anna May Anderson, Annalie Manio, Belene or Belen Manio, Lissa Grenage Price, DeRose Scott, Patricia Harmon, Thelma Bruton, Tanya Willis, Sarah Stribling, reading these precious mother's names, Rhoda Ingram, praise the Lord, Alberta Baynard, Katie Walker, Gladys Adon, Mary Tremell, our precious mothers. I'm reading every name. Brandy Richards, Kristen 
Richards, Kristen Lockford, Kristen Navarro, all of these coming through Facebook at the message area. Yolanda Harris, Kimberly Robertson, Joan Poland, Tina Roan, Patricia Cerny, Catherine Lee, Sherry Ponzo, Catherine, Catherine Wall, Joan Coleman, Valerie Davis, Terry Cuff, Rose Cuff, Jeanette Austin, Deneen Smith, Sylvia Sparkman, Darlene Turner, Artrell Tribbett, Lily Turner, Phyllis Bryce, Paulette Turner, Terry Smith, Vanessa Richardson, Teresa Smith, Tracy Lightburn, Sarah Stribling, Minister Connie Haywood, and Helen Moyer. These are the 144 names given to me to read now. If you're watching this live, or whenever you're seeing this, we are on again at 11 a.m., just so you'll know. This message is going to be for some of you. And if you want to get your mother's name on the cross at our 11 a.m. live service, or your name, here's what you need to do. We're bringing it up right now on the screen. Just go to Faith City. Family Church Facebook. I'm bringing it up for you right now. You want to get your name. You're a mom. You want to get your name on the Mother's Day cross. Or you want to get your mother's name on the cross. Just go to Faith City Family Church Facebook and send message. But then maybe you just tuned in. Mom, can I send you our Mother's Day gift? This is one of the most beautiful gifts we've ever given out, and it's absolutely free. God laid this on my heart to do. It's free. All you have to do is email me your address, Mom. It's so simple. Now, Mom, if you don't have a computer or an iPhone, get one of the kids to get this address because I want you to get this beautiful Mother's Day devotional and pen. Email me your address to faithcityoffice at gmail.com. That's faithcityoffice at gmail.com. And if you were saved, before I give the benediction, if you were saved and you would like your cross necklace, I want you to see how easy it is. All you have to do is use that same email address if you would like a free cross necklace to commemorate your salvation today. Then go to faithcityoffice at gmail.com. As soon as I get your address, we'll get your cross in the mail. And for the benediction, I'd like to do it this way. Brother BK, if we could please, I, I want to lay my hands on the cross to dedicate all of these names that literally are going to be put on the cross. I don't know. It may take us over an hour to do it. And then, BK, I want to close out as Dana's playing the music. And Brother Al, I, I want to have up on the screen the free Mother's Day gift as, as Brother Dana close out with the music. But here I go. Father, in the name of Jesus, I get on my knees this Mother's Day 2020. And Lord, you heard every name that I called out of every mother that came in over Facebook 
and said, I want my mother's name, or I'm a mother. I want my name. Lord, I stretch my hand out. Lord, I'm not going to touch it because these flowers are too beautiful. I don't want to mess up these flowers. And Lord, we pray over every mother whose name is going on the cross. That mother, Lord, that's going through a struggle right now. God, we pray as soon as that name hits the cross, that your power and your presence would be felt. And Lord, for the names of the mothers, they're already in glory. They're already in heaven. We honor our mothers. And we know that if we'll serve the Lord, that one day we'll see our mothers once again. And so now, for the benediction, and then we'll put up on the screen as Brother Dana will play after I'm done for a moment that you can get that address for the Mother's Day gift. I stretch out my hand to you, and I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen and amen. Happy Mother's Day. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. Join us again at 11 a.m. if you want as we continue the next live at 11 God bless you.